Today on Mr. Media, I'll talk to actor Brett Gelman, one of the stars of the new NBC sitcom Go On, starring Matthew Perry. Stick around. His thing may be worse than your thing. And his thing is definitely funnier than your thing. Discuss. This is Bob Andelman, and this is the Mr. Media Interview, brought to you today by the Stitcher app for mobile devices. Give it a test drive today at stitcher.com slash mrmedia, Mr. Media. I love this free radio app, and I think you will too. Stitcher.com slash mrmedia. Mr. Media is recorded live before a studio audience of actors wearing suits of other people's skin in the new new media capital of the world, St. Petersburg, Florida. Brett Gelman is a man whose star is clearly on the rise. Why, this week alone, he's appearing on both the Mr. Media and What the Fuck with Mark Marin podcast. Top that, Joel McHale. Sorry. Anyway, the Upright Citizens Brigade regular has been appearing in all the right places of late. Cool, vibey TV shows such as Adult Swim's Eagle Heart, three HBO series, Curb Your Enthusiasm, Funny or Die Presents, and Bored to Death, and The League on FX. He was also in the movie The Other Guys. Now he's getting, re- getting a really big break as an oddball character named Mr. K on the new NBC sitcom Go On, starring Matthew Perry of Friends and John Cho of the Harold and Kumar films, and the new Star Trek franchise. The show airs Tuesdays at 9 p.m. beginning September 11th. Brett Gelman, welcome to Mr. Media. Thank you so much. How are you doing? I'm good. Hey, congratulations on the, on the show. Thank you. Thank you. I'm, uh, I'm very excited. Very, very excited. It's, uh, it's great to be a part of it. You know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, though, that you, having appeared on not one, but three uh, comedies on HBO, I guess I'm a little surprised we're talking about you uh, landing on a full-time gig on NBC as opposed to HBO. Yeah, um, you know, it's uh, you never know how it's going to happen, but uh, I auditioned for the show, and uh, I'm, I I lucked out. What can I say? I'm an amazing show with a great cast, and, uh, you know, I love HBO, too. They've been very good to me, but uh, this uh, this just seemed to work out, so I, uh, I'm very excited. I've always, you know, it's always been kind of a dream. You know, we all grew up with the, with the NBC classic shows, you know, your your Cheers, your Family Ties, your Seinfeld, your Friends, and it's uh, it's great to great to be on one, hmm. you know, be part of that legacy. And Mr. K fits in, uh, I'm th- he reminded me a bit of uh, Abed on uh, Community, in that uh, kind of odd, kind of quirky, kind of we, we don't know everything about him, and you get the feeling that maybe we'll never know everything there is to know about him. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, I think more will be revealed about him, but uh, I think that's part of his charm is his mystery. You're not really exactly sure why he's there and uh, what he's dealing with. But uh, one thing you do know is he he wants uh, does want to have some friends. <laughs> <laughs> so, so because it's a it an really, NBC, uh, I was going to say because oh, it's yeah, an say, NBC yeah. sitcom, we assume that he's not there, and we'll find out later that he's an axe murderer. Uh, <laughs> no, there will not. There's no malintentions in Mr. K's head. No, he means well. He means well, even though he might seem like he doesn't at times. <laughs> well, <laughs> now in the previews, uh, it looks like uh, you and Matthew Perry uh, immediately uh, form this uh, bizarre bond. Is that is that something that continues in later episodes? This playing off each other the way you do? Yeah, definitely, definitely. No, uh, Matthew has been really, um, I'm really lucky to be working with the, uh, one of the great comedic actors. And, uh, there is a a special, a special dynamic that, uh, that his character and my character have, you know, it's definitely kind of like a comedy duo at times. And, uh, you know, Matthew's character has, that with a lot of the characters on the show and uh you know and uh and me and matthew have gotten to know each other and already have a an amazing rapport he's been very supportive of me really had my back and uh it's uh it's it's amazing it's a dream come true it means a lot 
there are a lot of, uh, well, characters on this show uh, from what we can see so far. And, uh, you know, it seems like you've been given the opportunity to be the first one to break out. Is that a, is that a safe thing to say? Um, you know, I think everybody's going to have their day. I think that uh, the great thing, of, one of the great things about the show is, you know, the characters are already very specifically written, specifically drawn, and they all have their special thing. You know, some are more outlandish and uh, and animated uh, humorously, and some are more, you know, are are more moving. And uh, the one thing is, though, that they all really do fit together in a in a great way. We all have our we all bring our different thing to the table, but um, it really. We're all allowed to shine, and uh, and it's it's amazing writing. So you know that that doesn't hurt. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I I mentioned uh, in the introduction that uh, you uh, worked with the Upright Citizens Brigade. Uh, how does how does what you you've done there contribute to the opportunities that you've been given in the last few years? Is it being seen, you know, by the right people? Is it the kind of work that you do? Oh, definitely. I mean, I, I owe my career to the Upright Citizens Brigade. If it wasn't for them, I, I definitely wouldn't be where I am. It's where it all started, and, uh, you know, it's just a great showcase for young comedians to come up, and, uh, you know, it's it's definitely, you know, it's on it's, it's on the same tip as, as Second City or the Groundlings. It really, it's, it's a place where you can perform and, and be seen, and, uh, and, it can really be the, the springboard for your career. Hmm. Well, uh, folks, listen, you can see uh, actor Brett Gelman in Go On with Matthew, per- Matthew Perry and John Show every Tuesday night this fall at 9 p.m. on NBC starting September 11th. And, uh, Brett, thank you so much for joining us Mr. Media today. Thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. Good luck to you. Or it was a pleasure to be here. <laughs> uh, thank you. You too. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. You can see and hear almost a thousand Mr. Media interviews by visiting our main site, mrmedia.com, mrmedia.com. Or check out the more than 200 video interviews on the Mr. Media radio site on YouTube. And I'd sure appreciate if you'd show some love for Mr. Media's advertisers, including Stitcher. Apple named Stitcher a top five news app of 2011. It's a free mobile app for your smartphone or tablet that lets you listen to your favorite shows and discover the best of news, entertainment, and sports on demand. You can listen whenever you want to to more than 5,000 shows, get customized recommendations, and discover what your friends are listening to. My own list of Stitcher favorites is pretty eclectic. I start my day with an hour of MSNBC's Morning Joe with Joe Scarborough and Mika Brzezinski. Then, it's the latest two-minute update from the Onion News Network. After that, I'll listen to WTF with Mark Maron, Here's the Thing with Alec Baldwin, HBO's Real Time with Bill Maher, and excerpts from E's Chelsea Lately and The Soup with Joel McHale. Also in regular rotation on my Stitcher playlist, The BS Report with ESPN's Bill Simmons, The TechCrunch Headlines, and The Don Geronimo Show. The latest episodes of each show, whether originating from broadcasts, cable TV, radio syndication, or podcasts, are continuously updated. Stitcher is a free app for your iPhone, iPad, Kindle, Fire, Blackberry, Droid, and more. And show your support of Mr. Media by getting, did I mention it's free? The app at stitcher.com slash Mr. Media. That's stitcher.com slash MR Media. Stitcher Smart Radio, the smarter way to listen to radio. We're also supported by Audible. Check out Audible's 30-day trial membership and download the audiobook version of the book everyone's been talking about, Fifty Shades of Grey by E.L. James. Sign up for your free trial today at audible.com slash radio. Again, audibletrial.com slash radio. And finally, if you need a disc jockey for a wedding, bar mitzvah, corporate event, or just a big old party... Please consider calling 1 800 Dial DJs, the party authority, for all your party entertainment needs. You can call 1 800 Dial DJs or go to their website, 1 800 Dial DJs.com, and tell them Mr. Media sent you. And thanks for listening.
hey, this is John Grise. I played Uncle Rico. When everybody's asleep and the lights are out, I go to Mr. Media. I don't watch porn. <laughs>